All right, we have a big baldy here, Weinheimer doe. Look how wide she is between those front legs. This doe is uh, tagged uh, D513. She was born March 4th, 2017. Big, powerful doe, big young doe. And uh, anyhow, uh, she's a full blood Weinheimer, as are all the rest except for the ones that will be obviously uh, part Savannah uh, in the sale. I do want to say something uh, about a goat uh, like this, and generally all the goats in the sale, look at how wide she is between those front legs. When you're raising goats like this, uh, and I actually talk about it a little bit in the uh, uh, two short videos that I, where I just talk about the power of the Weinheimer and why Weinheimer, I actually say in that discussion uh, that, to, uh, that my feed costs and... Uh, uh, pharmaceutical cost total about $150 a doe per year. Uh, if you're not planning on feeding these does something, honestly, they're probably not really for you. I mean, now we typically feed just shelled corn, so it's not expensive, uh, but we do feed them something. And, uh, you know, primarily during the first year of their life, uh, we're feeding them, you know, pretty steady and, and in good amounts because we want them to do to develop the maximum frame possible. Uh, you'll see in the age of does though, after uh, they attain a year old and we get them bred, uh, we typically cut them back and at that point in time they're pretty much just getting a little bit of feed for, to get them to come in the barn and they're out on pasture browse, you know, eating weeds and stuff in the woods. So, uh, but if you're not going to feed them at all, I'm telling you, uh, you know, that's just, they're probably not the goat for you because to have an animal this size uh, and this much mass, it does take something beyond uh, just uh, poor quality browse or poor quality hay to maintain the animal. So uh, anyhow, I talked with the lady at the uh, uh, Spanish Goat Registry and she said, well, she felt like uh, maybe uh, I might be uh, creating expectations beyond what the uh, uh, goats could actually perform. So. Uh, Anyhow, uh, this is a nice doe, uh, pretty powerful, born March 4, 2017. I think she'll help anybody that's looking to have a solid commercial herd.